and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create an image reflection. You can use a simple masking effect for that. Here's our image, you will find that via description below. Let me create a background, simply black. I'll select the image, then extensions, render and I give it a frame. Let me check the live preview. I want to have sharper edges so I go down here with the radius. And I, uh, maybe I should increase the width a little bit. You could also change the color, but I want to have it white, so it's fine. I click and apply. Keep in mind it's now two elements, so best way to deal with it is to select both, then Ctrl G to group it. Now I press Ctrl D to copy this one. Drag the copy downwards, I hold control when I do. And now I click on this icon up here, and let me make the background a little bit bigger. I've got the one at the bottom selected, and then I click on this icon up here to flip it. We can use the Bezier tool or simply the rectangle tool, and then drag a rectangle that has the size of your image at the bottom. Maybe you want to disable the snapping for now. It's not a problem if it's a little bit bigger. Now click on the gradient tool. We want to have a linear gradient and it should be set to the fill. Go to the top and drag it down width. Now go to object, fill in stroke. And we've got both of these points where we can set the color of the gradient. The one on top should be white and it should have an opacity of 100%. And the one at the bottom should also have an opacity of 100%, but it should be black. So the black parts will be invisible, the white parts will be visible. Now select this rectangle that has the gradient and the image behind it, and right click and set a mask. So this would be the basic effect. Let me get rid of the background. If you want to readjust it, just select it, right click, then release the mask. And maybe you want to make the black part a little bit bigger. So just drag it around with the gradient tool to adjust it. And then again, select it, right click, set mask. Let me reposition it a little bit so that it's closer to the image on top. I'll hold control when I do. When you want to export it, just press Ctrl A to have it all selected. And this is how you can create such an image reflection in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.